continue to shoot us your messages. We want to know what floats your goat. And we got a, we got two. <laughs> everyone laughs at that. I like that. We got two wicked questions from the GOAT fans. But before that, it's intermission time. And we drink some vino here. And Nucci, what do we got? Uh... Uh, we got a little Montepulciano da Bruzzo. <laughs> it's the, uh, the region my, uh, on, my Nucci, dad's from. Torre Zambra. Um, organic wine, I guess. And we got uh, 92 points from Jane Suckling. Ooh. All right. You fill up Mark here. And then... Uh... We can pour that's, some in mine. Man, and then uh, Yoki's got a get nice uh, Look at Guinness. how nice Guinness here, yeah. Healthy beer. He's drinking healthy, healthy beer. beer. Yeah. A lot of iron in there. Chocolate milk. Good for breastfeeding mothers, apparently. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, our first question. It's from Ricky D. This guy's my fellow teammate from Michigan Tech. He actually messaged me a couple weeks ago, asked this wicked question. My fellow big man, Ricky D., He's asking us, what's the greatest hockey goal celebration? Wow. Wow, there's tons, guys. We have to pick one or we can name a couple. You know what? Anything. I, you want, who wants to go first? I got one that is the best. 100%. Start us off. He's a fellow big man. In the, Tell me if you guys know this guy. In the 90s, he was the best player on the ice. If you watch clips, back-to-back -back Stanley Cup guy oh lemieux no mario or yager yarmir yager guys the salute the most classic serious listen if you watch clips of this guy yeah. in the 90s yeah with lemieux he was he, insane he was insanity yeah the guy would beat d-men like he was what's he six four Fastest guy on the ice. He's bigger than that, I think. I think he's supposed to be like maybe. 220. Yeah. Something. 220. Without the mullet. Okay. It's a great mullet. And when, yeah. when you dangle like that and score in a breakaway, usually you're jumping for joy. You know what he does in his mullet and, and Jofa helmet? <laughs> Serious face. <laughs> Boom. Salute. Salute. That's a good one. So are we talking about like ongoing celebration, just like a one-off? Could it be anything? It hey. could be a one-off, yeah. Okay. Yarmir Yager had the best one. Classic. And I don't know if he was saluting some military stuff. His dad or his grandpa or something. But someone said also it might have been from the Denver Broncos, the uh, the running back back then. I think he that was before it that. Was, though, it was no? called the Mile High Salute, he, and he liked that. Okay, yeah, did, now, that would have been later on in his career, the salute, if it, if I'm remembering. He explained it on a podcast, so something to do with that, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I always liked the, the Timu Solani. That was a good he, one. He scored and he threw the glove up. I mean, yeah. that was pretty impromptu for, for a Euro to do something like that was pretty I thought yeah. that was awesome. Was that his rookie year? Could have been. Was yeah. He set the record. The record. He set the yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, 76 yeah, yeah. goals or something? 70, yeah. Little Dave Tiger Williams. Yeah, the riding the stick. Center. And he starts pointing at everybody like going yeah. like that. That, that was, was a classic. classic too. That was in the Vancouver jersey too. That was yeah. yeah. I think a... Theo Fleury had a good one with that in Calgary overtime against Edmonton when he yeah, went, went on nuts. his knees and fired down the ice. That do, was a good one. Do you know who else did that one? Yakupov. Yakupov. Didn't yeah. Cliff Ronning do that here in Vancouver too? He did something like that. So. After they beat LA in a playoff game. I'm dating myself. You guys are way younger than me, but it would have been like 92 <laughs> against LA. I can't, don't remember that I mean, one. Speaking of Yakupov, I mean the Russians. Yeah. They're like famous for the Sellies. You got the Kuzi Eagle, the Flying oh, Eagle. That's a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, you got uh, Ovi's with the hot stick. Yeah, the, Don Cherry didn't like that one. No, the Panarin leg, the leg kick that he does, the Broadway girl leg kick okay. that he does now. Yeah. Um, Kovalev did the moonwalk a couple times. Yes, he I did. I mean, these guys are. I always like the traditional. Absolutely, uh, would score coming down the off wing with that traditional little snipe off the off wing there, the snapper, mm -hmm. and he just put the one hand. Yeah, just one hand. Up yeah, there yeah. As he'd go. That's always a good one. I like the traditional ones, shushing the crowd. Yeah, it's classic. And mm -hmm. the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Let me hear Yager it. Yager did that one, actually. Yager yeah. used to do that one. I, I With like the those, mullet. I like those simple, serious face sellies. I don't really like when they jump around, you know? There's a lot of people jumping in the... the uh, Mike Ruzioni, Olympic, USA Olympic 82. What did he do? Well, he like just running went, on his went, skates. He went, like Gretzky. No, he he went, went an animalistic. <laughs> when Gretzky scored his a eight, lunatic eight on the ice. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I would be too if I did that. Yeah. What about, wasn't there a guy who scored and just did nothing? Just buried his head and just skated off? That's like who like, did that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like it was just like, I, I always do this all wish, the time. I always wish that I could get to the point where when I scored a goal, it, it literally meant nothing, nothing to me because I scored so much. 
But man, every time I scored a goal, it's like it's funny. I, I actually couldn't control myself. This is a funny story. I did that once. I don't even remember. This was twenty at a penalty shot against Penticton, and I went backhand top shelf. And like, and then I just skated by the bench and I buried my head like this and just went right past the guys and just didn't say anything. <laughs> right. I remember that year I coached in Surrey against you guys in Burnaby and Turris would score anytime he wanted. Yeah. So it was like it was almost like that. He'd just score yeah. and fucking get to the bench and we'd look at each other. Like, <laughs> how do you stop this guy? You know, uh, the answer is he you don't. was fucking. I did awesome. like uh, Kachuk's Selly last year when he just skated off the ice. I was, was just good. gonna that say that. Good. That was a good. Like, I was good. It's like Bo yeah. Jackson in the '80s when he ran right through the the Kingdom yeah. against the Seattle Seahawks, which yeah. I don't like. And he ran right through after a touchdown into the into the tunnel. It was classic, classic stuff. Yeah, that was a good one. One like crazy one that stuck out for me was uh, Sean Avery doing the push ups in the corner mm-hmm. after he scored f- with the Kings. Imagine, <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Seen that? Like the blade Avery, just ripping, Avery, ripping p ups, and no one piece, went near him. He's a piece of work. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I know. The Blades of Steel one, too. It went viral a couple times. Junior players just going like this the whole time. Dude, yeah, yeah. Steel, Some of our guys that, do that in that practice. Was, yeah, that was really... The I whole team that. doing it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, their yeah. legs don't move, just yeah, their hands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, honorable mention, Milan Hiduk. Ooh, the swimming one? The swim. Yeah. yeah. Dive to swim. And then he was just... He was at a stand... Uh, just on like his belly. His arms. Just oh, moving yeah. his arms. That's yeah, no, those are good. Uh, Luke Bourdon. Burroughs did it for him. Yeah. 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 Burroughs did it for him. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. I need one from each of you to end it off. I got Yager, the salute. I'll go with the uh, the Avery push-ups. Uh, I'll go with Solani, the old <laughs> Winnipeg uh, arena. I know it was a Tiger Williams one. I just like that. Just the big man like that. Yeah. Beat the shit out of people just doing that in center race. Awesome. Awesome. That's going to be a good, cool reel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Go Radio loves our food, Italian food especially lately. Um, we gotta do start doing our food reviews. That's uh, gotta get like a little on the makeshift agenda. kitchen to cook. Yeah, maybe I get know. somebody in here to cook. Get like, senior in here to start yeah. cooking up some get stuff. Get Marci in, in here. Yeah, Mar- yeah. in here. I'm trying to get Marci in here. Oh, he's busy. A little he's pizza a busy, busy guy. That would be good. No, it's a good idea. Okay, guys. We have a question from Louis G. <laughs> And he is Luigi. Ask- Luigi. Or Luigi. 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 Okay. He is asking your top five pasta dishes. So we can do it. Uh, you know, we can start with five, then four, like a draft. Okay. So we'll go around the table. I can go first if you want. That's tough. Guys, this one num- for num- my number five. It's a staple in my house. So easy. Get it at Costco. <laughs> and. Oh my so god! So pre-made sauce. We're yeah, going. it is. Oh. Already, we're, we're because off the rails. Here. I'll we're tell off, you. I'll, off the rails. I'll tell you why. A lot of red sauces aren't very good if they're not good. Do you know what I mean? You need a good red sauce. So I'm going with for my number five. It's the penne pesto. Oh okay. It's good. The Kirkland. Kirkland from yeah, Costco. Yeah, it's good. One little scoop in hot noodles. Kids love it. I love it. You don't yeah. need oh, yeah, parmesan. My kid loves it. It's good. It, it does the job. It's good for my number five. Okay. I got pesto a little higher on the board for myself, but uh, fresh, fresh, fresh. For pesto. number five, I'm gonna go cacio e pepe. It's uh, spicy. Yeah, it's pe- just pepper and um, pecorino romano cheese and some of the water from the pasta when it's cooked, and that's all it is. And it makes a creamy. The pasta water makes the cheese, grated cheese, creamy. And then it's the pepper, insight. the peppery it's kick. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's very it's hard pro, to make. It's a pro technical. Tip. It's technical. I need to know what noodle are you having with. You that? can do it with anything. Yeah, but you pick a noodle. Um, we need the dish, so you need the sauce and. The I would do like, uh, like tonarelli, like thick, like a thick long pasta. Oh, okay. So Beauty. that cheesy, so- like creamy sauce sticks to it, okay. or a rigatoni. Mark number five for you. Well, I'm a, I'm a. Big fan of all pastas 100%. since since probably my mid twenties. I was never really a pasta guy as a kid. Oh, really, more meat, meat, meat. Growing up in an Italian family, all you'd always have it. But I took a, a better appreciation as I got older, maybe, and maybe because I like to cook. Um, watching you know my dad and my uncles cook a bit here and there, and my mom obviously. But my number five pasta, we just go. Let's just go generic and just do a, a oven pasta with a, a good lasagna. Oh. Good lasagna with the bechamel, nice meat sauce, ragu Beautiful. in the lasagna. Okay. That would be that would be my number five because it's not really it's not really a 
a delicate pasta that you would get an order at a fine dining restaurant, but yeah, it's yeah. good. It's a staple. It's hearty. It's meaty. Feed it's a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop you there. I was going to say no lasagna, risotto, or cannelloni oh. Oh. in this list because that's oh. not a pasta. Uh, it's pasta though. Well, risotto definitely isn't pasta. Yeah. Okay. Is cannelloni a pasta? Like, is it? What yeah. is? It's a pasta dish. Yeah. Cannelloni is a stuffed like stuffed, shells. Stuffed, right? stuffed wow, shells. guys, yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah. That's actually, that. Milan's grandma makes great cabbage really? rolls. Really? Are we putting that cabbage in, in these not... lists? I know. I'm just saying they're yeah, stuffed. Yeah. yeah. I don't have one, but I need even... Serbian pasta. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're so are we, we're okay. We'll allow no risotto. No risotto. Okay. Okay. No risotto. That's yeah. rice. Sounds yeah. good. So lasagna. Lasagna. A good lasagna. Okay. Can, like not the, a veggie lasagna. It doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> veggie no, lasagna. No, is no, 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 I, I agree. No, no, no. You gotta have meat in that thing. I grew up in a Serbian household, man. Like the chances of us eating pasta were slim to none. I started eating pasta like. Going to his house, going to Busto's house, I go sit down at Giuseppe's and he cooked me up. I probably have it every single one, but I think number five for me is my mom used to make me penne with Parmesan and just olive oil. Like that yeah. was my number five. That's like you, I used to put on my fingers as a kid, like give it to my kids now. Like yeah, nothing special. It's not like you're yeah, going to find good. that, uh, you know, in a Michelin star restaurant, but it's still phenomenal, simple and good. Yep. 100%, man. For my number four, I'm going with the linguini al vangoli. Did I say that right? Vongole. 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 It's okay. We White wine, garlic. Um, clams. Clams. You know, wrap the clam in the linguini. Spicy, better. A little chili pepper in there. Yeah, that's good. You that's need the chili nice. flakes. Parsley. Yeah. That's my number maybe, four. Maybe Marcello can make that one Ooh. night. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go for me the spaghetti al olio e peperoncino. <laughs> it's uh <laughs> took the words right on off, buddy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a tough one. Good. It's just uh garlic and oil and, and yeah. chili flakes. Unreal. Simple. You can make it really quickly. It's uh in Italy and stuff, it's a very common midnight um or post uh going drinking kind of thing because you can make it in ten minutes as a as the pasta is boiling. You can get that going and then boom you got a you know, you got to pass to feed a bunch of people when they're drunk at the end of the night kind of thing. But yeah. uh, what kind of noodles? Though? Spaghetti. You, oh, spaghetti. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you, Carlos, Long enunci- pasta. Carlos enunciation is beautiful. Spot, tonight. Yeah. Spot, on. <laughs> Spot on. Very good. So now I got to go number four. Yeah. My four, my four. I'm going to go off the, I'm going to go right off the, the board here. This is, this is, this is just a, my, I do it. Maybe, maybe my dad used to do it. Or my grandma used to do it. Leftover pasta doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> there's a there's a caveat here. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a big word. Fried with an egg the next day. Well, that actually oh, would be really on good. On it, yeah. So you fry the pasta so it gets a little crispy. Yeah. Leftover It could be penne, spaghetti, bottini, yeah. whatever noodle you have, and you fry it. You mix it in, and then you just get the egg and you drop the egg in it. Okay, and then you and it's a little bit of a scramble in leftover pasta the next day for lunch beautiful wow wow solid do do some people put the egg in the sauce well that's that's probably coming up me and carlos number two or one okay favorite okay it's coming it's coming okay it's coming uh number four for me are just simple spaghetti and meatballs man that that's like done well unbelievable like you go to a good place to do good spaghetti you know we should try is a spaghetti with chivap (laughs) <laughs> that, that's a little I think, that's a little cross I think yeah, we should yeah because it's like a meatball should, it's the same thing I think you could state. do it I think we could yeah, do it I think we. I think that's a great idea I think we should it's like goat radio first yes that would be nice. bring Shelly in here pat, and make the spaghetti can we we'll patent make this, it yeah, we'll that, yeah that's, we gotta patent that yeah yeah we'll have a pasta shivap in the back it'd be beautiful yeah, yeah. <laughs> for my number three it's the classic yeah. of all classics yeah. I got the spaghetti meatballs spaghetti polpette yeah polpette that's good polpette polpette yeah um you need you need Parmesan covering the meatballs. That's a good. Oh yeah, nice dusting. Yeah, a big dusting. freshly grated. Yeah. Fresh. Number three for you, Nucci. Um, for me, my third is one you mentioned already, the pesto, uh, with fusilli. What's that? It's like the little tw- the twirly one. Oh, the twirly ones. Yeah, it's like the popcorn twist. Yeah, yeah. it's the one that Kramer got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the fusilli, the the little cracks get the. Chunks of the pesto in there. Ooh, that's a good one. You can get like three or four on a nice forkful. Good uh, to go. Is it, uh, are you more on the more softer side or al dente? Al dente. Oh, okay. You need some I need the bite. chew. You need some bite. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mark. I'm going to leave pesto off of my list, period, because we yeah. have it in the summer. Actually, Carlo was over for a nice dinner one night. 
this year. And um, fresh pesto is just, it's easy. Yeah. It's like a mac and cheese. So I'm going to leave that one off. Yeah. My my third <laughs> would be, going back to what you said about pasta vongole, but with a red sauce. Oh, oh okay. A spicy red sauce yeah. instead of the, the white wine. That would be that would be number three. It's 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 with to clams. me I like it. Yeah, with clams. Finucci, what's the one with the back bacon in it? It's like slanina in the pasta. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like the back yeah, with the like, egg. Yeah, that's the one. Is that the one? Carbonara. Or yeah, carbonara martigiana. What was like a white one's a red one. No, the white one. Carbonara. Carbonara. So I'll get that number three. That's I don't I know what it looks like. The back bacon, that's that's my number three. Beauty. Number two, guys. The gnocchi. Oof. The gnocchis can't be too big, though, obviously. They can't be too small either. With the red sauce, parm, cracked pepper. Okay. I love gnocchi. That's now, now, when you two. make the gnocchi, are you baking the potato or boiling the potato? Boiling. So here's a little trick. Leave <laughs> the water. After you boil the potatoes, leave the water and then put the gnocchi back in the potato Ooh. water. To boil them and uh, what do you mean? So you boil the potatoes to soften them up. Oh yeah. Okay. Leave that that water. Okay. Don't toss the water out. Just sit, take the potatoes out. Yes. Then once you make your gnocchi, reboil that water and boil the gnocchi in the potato water. Whoa. Oh, that's a veteran. starch fest. That's a veteran move. Beautiful. It's a professional move. Yeah. yeah. That is insane. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Only years yeah. in the kitchen with yeah. Your you got to do it. Yeah. yeah. I taught Geich that one. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at two here, right? Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, more of a recent favorite for me within the last five, six years is uh, um, carbonara. Mm -hmm. um, I like it with a short pasta, so a rigatoni, um, more traditionally done with a longer pasta. But the carbonara with, it's actually not back bacon, it's pig cheek. Jowl. The pork jowl, yeah, yeah. guanciale, um, and egg and Parmesan cheese or pecorino. No, no cream, nothing else. Mix the man. How much stuff's in your pasta, man? That's it. it. That that's nothing. The first one was cheese and pepper. This one is cheese, pork cheek, and and oh, okay. uh, an egg. Yeah, that's it. I think we're gonna taco it's a salad. Thing. I'm getting hungry man. now. I think I'm gonna go stop off somewhere to get some pasta on the way a home. A carbonara does not have cream in it. That's number one. So yeah, don't ever put. Cream what in is it called? Carbonara. Oh, just straight up carbonara. Okay. Yeah. So number two, I'm I'm gonna go number two, again a little bit off the board here, but orecchetti and rab. Oh, rab is sausage. Of, little sausage in there yeah. too. Well, well, let me oh, guess. That's it's like kohlrabi with sausage. Rab is like a broccoli. Italian broccoli. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And broccoli rab. They put that on pizza sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. orecchetti is the the noodle I'll i like to, and we make that sometimes fresh. Maybe we'll have you guys over one night. One night. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. My number two is definitely my mom's lasagna. The crispy edges, absolutely zero spinach in there. When I see spinach lasagna, I high for, for, I'm done. You're I'm done. And ricotta yeah. for me. Oh. Yeah, way out. And I don't yeah. think she puts that in there. Yeah. And she puts meat, lots of meat in there. Yeah. I'm like, buddy, that's the, the corner that. piece that's burnt. Oh, buddy. It's the best piece. <laughs> it is the best piece all the time. Right? <laughs> all right, guys. Number one overall. I always get this for some reason. The penne bolognese. Cracked pepper, Parmesan, and maybe some chili flakes. Ooh, All three. Yeah, chili flake good. oil from La Piazza. Yeah, they got yeah, they got a good one. Claudio's face on the jar. Yeah. <laughs> Audible mentioned uh, La Piazza, Claudio's uh, authentic pistachio sauce. Oh, yeah. Pistachio. Forgot. That's, uh, yeah, that's my honorable mention. Yeah. What's your number one? My number one is just uh, any kind of pasta with pomodoro. Just simple... Um, like pomodoro, like just a red sauce. It's a red sauce, just yeah. But red sauces, you know, some are not good. Well, like my family's recipe, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The one my mom makes, the one awesome. that, the one I Carlo make. Carlo Senior, Senior, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Put That's it through, like put it through the, the, the what's it called there? The strainer. It's not, the, the it's not a strainer. It's, the sieve. it's not a sieve though. They it's call like it something else. Mix. Food mill. Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. I think there's a couple honorable mentions. Yeah, pasta vodka is always an honorable yeah. mention. Oh, yeah. Um or penne vodka, however you want to do it. There is a little cream in there sometimes, but I think I'm going with Carlo here with just a nice plain tomato sauce. The the tomato. I brought you a nice jar yes, tonight. Yes, thank you, buddy. So a little garlic, little, lots of oil. 